1978, the first year of Ironman in Hawaii, it was all men. No women entered the race. But then a woman heard about the race, and she did enter in 1979. And her name is Lynn Lemire. Did people think she was going to finish? They didn't know, but she did. And she was the first female ever to finish an Ironman. She was the one that led the charge into the explosion of the fierce women of Iron Man. Determination, guts, fortitude, that never give up attitude. That was Erin Baker. I mean, she would never quit. And whenever she was in an Iron Man race, in Kona or anywhere in the world, all the women knew they had to have the best day of their lives to beat Erin Baker. She exemplifies fierce. She's the one that's out there letting it all out on the line. Erin Baker led the way for so many women with her fierce determination and attitude. The word legacy is a word that is pretty big. When one athlete is out there doing their job, going to races, training, putting in the time, becoming a professional, they have no idea if they're gonna be a legacy. But then all of a sudden came along a woman in Kona by the name of Paula Newby Frazier. She won the race, then she won it again, and she won it again. And it was almost automatic that if Paula was at the Ironman in Hawaii, she would win. Paula Newby Frazier won that race eight times. The queen of Kona, the greatest Ironman triathlete in the history of the sport. What will it take to beat this woman? Natasha Bodman. Have you ever seen anybody race for 140.6 miles and they're smiling the entire way? And oh, by the way, they're winning. Natasha Bodman is so fierce. Six times she's won that race. The most Ironman wins for a woman behind Paula Newby Frazier. She's in that same arena. Natasha Bodman always brought her A game to Kona. You knew when she was at that start line, no matter what, she was gonna have a great day. Natasha Bodman from Switzerland is one fierce competitor. Six Ironman wins. Nikili Jones from Australia. She comes to Kona in 2005. She was really talked into it. She didn't really want to do that long distance of a race. She said it wasn't her forte. But what'd she do in 2005? She takes a second place. But she got back on her feet and said, all right, I'm coming back in 2006. She wanted to be a world champion as an Ironman. And she did just that. When she came through the finish line, I seen a lot of champions finish but she was hooting and hollering and screaming and cheering right along with the crowd because she realized she did something that almost everybody thought she couldn't do, win Kona. Cherie Gruenfeld, the age group queen of Kona. 13 age group Ironman titles. Just imagine that. She keeps coming back and setting course record, doing it year after year. But even more than that, Cherie is fueled out there on the course. Her exceeding expectations group is something that she's able to give back to these kids. Cherie Gruenfeld is something an age grouper should aspire to. It's about others. And even though she puts in as much training as everybody else, she also puts the same amount of time into her kids. That makes her so well-rounded and balanced, but it also makes her a fierce competitor. Marinda Carfrey, Australia. She set the standard of getting off that bike and running like the wind. The other thing about Rennie, she was the first Australian woman since McKeeley Jones to win Kona. Did she win it once? No, twice? Three times. And in doing so, she still today holds the course run record out there. Marinda Carfrey now changed the level of the game. You have to get off the bike. And oh, by the way, 
you have to run the best race of your life. A dominant, fierce Ironman woman competitor, Daniela Reef, the angry bird. Unbelievable what she's done in Kona because she's won the race now four times. She's a five-time Ironman 70.3 world champion, doubling up on every one of those years. Daniela Reef has set a new standard in Kona, coming back, winning multiple races, and setting records. She is the course record now for the women in Kona, and she is fierce. Would she catch Paula at eight Ironman championships? Let's wait and see.